Following recent threats from the Turtle Empire up to the north of our empire, we've decided to take some drastic measures. We want to remind you, Turtle Empire, that the offer for a peace treaty is still available. If failure to sign the treaty is at hand here, we'll have to take some very extreme measures. We are prepared and ready to send a squadron, or maybe multiple squadrons of planes, up to the north to destroy everything you have positioned there. Once again, we request that you accept this treaty, or you fail, and you die. Thank you for that. In the meantime, we shall continue surveilling your areas. Recently, we have developed the Hummingbird, the latest in radar technology. We can tell exactly where you are and exactly what you're doing, yet you won't even know these planes are up above you. So once again, Turtle Empire, I want to repeat my previous statement. Accept our peace treaty, or die. Pilots trained. Do not expect us to take this lighter than we already are. So yes, hello people. That is a very quick segue. Um, <laughs> just a little bit of bad roleplay for those of you who are vaguely interested in what's going on. Um, basically, Jesus Christ, this piece of paper really wants to fly around my room. Um, <clears throat> basically, the Turtle Empire and I have declared war on each other, and currently I am taking part in a huge military arms race. This is my latest design. Um, it's probably going to be worked on in the future, although I do in I do actually really like the plane how it is. It flies really well. Uh, this is actually the first iteration. I didn't... It, this is just straight off the bat. Built this, it flew, and I was... It blew my mind how well this thing worked for the first iteration. So, um... I thought I'd show off this thing. Uh, the intentions were that it would go high altitude uh, using four of these turbojets preferably around 10,000 meters, and survey areas around Turtle's uh, northern bases. Now, um, you may have seen in our previous video the showcase of our latest jet fighter, which is uh, the J-17. I think it's the J-17. Um, that we have got recently our hands on uh, something of great beauty. In fact, two things of great beauty. We have a large destroyer, and we have an aircraft carrier. So, that's pretty good. So, currently, the war seems to be in our favor, which is always a good thing. Also, I want to congratulate SG King Lee, who's one of the people I kind of know in real life and help on YouTube, for reaching... Uh, what well, seems like quite a measly goal, but is 20 subscribers is quite a big number to consider that he's not really doing YouTube videos that often. I've gone too high here, so I've lost uh, lost lift on the wings. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, you're supposed to level this thing off at around 10,000, yet I waited till about 14,000, uh, by which time I've already lost so much lift that it was pretty much pointless trying to recover there. As you can see, intake air is measly. <laughs> if I can point it down, I could possibly get some uh, grip back on uh, my lift side of things. Um, we're not spinning too badly, it's just the lack of lift that's getting us. Um, let's try and push ourselves down back into the atmosphere, or at least gain some speed so that we can... Uh, actually, okay. We're still going up slightly, so let's wait. Okay, we're in slightly thicker atmosphere here. Uh, we could 
we still have time to try and push ourselves down. This could be it. Hold on to it. This thing is actually not that easy to recover from um, things. As I say, first iteration. It's pretty impressive for a first iteration, if you ask me. Um, <coughs> and I actually like how it looks. Uh, you may not agree, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it's fine if you don't agree. We don't have to agree with everything. Please don't crash plane. This will make me look bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh! Just doesn't want to catch the wind. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Got the wind. I've got it. There you go. <laughs> That was a quick 10,000 uh, meter plummet towards our doom, which we have successfully recovered from. As you can see, uh, flying low altitude, and it's normally like this at high altitude, this plane doesn't fly that badly. Um, I will probably try and increase the turning circle for more agile versions later on, but this is definitely a good plane for uh, its intended purpose. Uh, reaching for the Pringles there, trying to get it. It was just like a natural reaction, just... Mm. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please have a like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm probably going to end this video before it drags on too, so I will see you all later. Also, remember you can still send in craft to my email. Email is in a video in the past, which I might remember to link. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I'm so bad.